Um, I had to pivot many times during learning what it is that I had to offer. I've been to SCORE and through SCORE, they helped me to understand what it was that I was able to do. I started out looking at disposables that were going through hospitals and watching all the coffee cups that went by me and every day, three times a day, these coffee cups went by me and were given to the patients. And I said, you know what? I'm also looking at all of the people that are losing their jobs during the market that's collapsing in front of us. The businesses and the institutions that need help by cutting their costs in order to keep their employees employed. That comes with their disposables, that comes with uh, cutting costs and, and uh, solutions that would help them survive. So my why was just that. My why was seeing all of these disposables every day go by me, and yet I was able to think of about three million reasons why I could sell the advertising space that was on them coffee cups and pay for those coffee cups for those institutions, convenience stores, gas stations, coffee shops, cafes, what have you. So I went to score and I learned how to pitch. And not only did I learn how to pitch, but I was also able to form in my mind why it was that I was able to do what I'm able to do now. In 2003, I was sitting on a motorcycle inside of a parking lot in Philadelphia, holding a coffee cup in my hand. And I looked at it and I said, you know what? I could put a coupon on those coffee cups and I could sell the advertising space within that coupon. And I can get these coupons sold to any advertiser who wants to go on. And I can also get them distributed through any institution, any coffee shop or cafe. <laughs> Knowing that, went home, repivoted because I wasn't able to get my uh, first initial launch uh, out into uh, hospitals and what have you, because they said it's a moral issue. And believe me, I go to sleep at night, every night, with a $1.5 million price tag on my head because I offered an institution free coffee cups. And they said it was a moral issue. That was why I couldn't advertise it in an institution. I showed uh, one person over at the ACC uh, when I went to score what it was that I had as a prototype. And I was able to come up with uh, the invention of a multiple commercial co-venture which means that I'm able to advertise on multiple, uh, uh, advertise uh, space on an item with multiple entities at the same time. Uh, when I came up with that invention, I patent intended it. I went and found a uh, firm that would help guide me through the legalities of forming the business. And uh, I was also called by SCORE 254 again to uh, come back because they really wanted to, to see what I had and, and to try and help me uh, develop what it was that I, I was doing. They invited my company to uh, meet the Angels in 2007, and I was the only company in New Jersey to be introduced to all the Angels, and uh, I didn't have any traction there. Uh, the next day, I was offered a $500,000 investment in order to bring my business to fruition. Um, I wasn't ready yet because I, I had gotten a no from the, the institutions. I had to find out that why. I can do this in the public and I'm able to do it without their, their moral issue about me putting this inside of institutions to pay for their products and save jobs. I can also do this in the public. So my why is I'm gonna bring this to, to the public, bring it to coffee distributors, bring it to uh, the coffee, uh, coffee shops and cafes, and um, I wanna bring it to fruition. How am I doing? I signed a $6 billion company 
to a contract and a pre-market launch in 2011, that gave me the why. I know I have something. 2015, I quit my job of 20 years in order to bring my startup to life. 2016, we just launched yesterday. I just signed a company called Lucky Seven Delis to an 80,000 coffee cup contract. I'm very elated and I came here tonight not only to know who I am, why I am, and what I am doing, but to get help because I can't do it alone. It takes everybody, it takes a lot of people because you might be an expert in what you know. You may not know everything that's entailed with business. And as I, I'll say it like this, you'll have pitfalls that go along the way and there's pitfalls you can thwart by knowing everything there is to know about your business before you do something. It takes a lot of time, a lot of due diligence, a lot of patience, and a lot of long nights. Persistence is what gets you through. And that's my why. That's why I do what I do.